Hey guys, gas sleeping reactions, Marie Stick. Romanian authorities stole vehicles from Andrew Tate's home after no human trafficking allegations. Guys, let me tell you something. When I saw that article, I said to myself, what in the hell is going on with Andrew Tate and his brother? If you know you're innocent, you really have nothing to do with human trafficking, whether it's children or adults. What are you doing in Romania still? Does it worth it risk your freedom being in a country they don't want you? These people don't care for mixed kids, don't care for black people. And Andrew Tate is this guy, I feel like he think he's in, in the closer side of being white than being black. The way he disrespect the uh, slavery, the uh, Juneteenth um, holiday. It's not real, it's a fake ninja thing. Like, brother, wake up and smell the coffee. You're not white, you're, not, you, you're a black guy. What The minute you have that drop of black blood in you, you consider to be black. So wake up and smell the coffee and come back to where you belong, whether it's the USA or in Europe, I think in London, where you, you have a dual citizenship. It's just dumb and stupid when people have money, when they have millions and fame, they feel like they are above the law. They can surpass the problems they are facing. And in reality, man, if you're living in somebody else's country, you better wake up and smell the goddamn coffee. They don't give a fly how much money you have, how much fame you have. They'll make it in nearly impossible for you to breathe. And this is exactly what's going on with Andrew Tate and his brother. And because they feel like they're a part of the white community, they don't feel like they belong in, they belong in Europe or in America. America would never have done this to your ass. And you could have get a lawyer and defend yourself and it would have been okay. Over there, it keep on going, going. It's like a indefinite case. They accuse him of this, that. Now look, to tell you the truth, I don't know his lifestyle. I don't know if the guy really did those things they accuse him of. If so, if he really did them, shame on him. You know, but if not, you can't live at ease and peace in a country where they don't want you. Come back home, brother. Wake up, you black kid. Romanian authorities towed away a fleet of luxury vehicles Saturday from the home of the divisive social media personality Andrew Tate, days after he was placed under house arrest following new human trafficking allegations. Oh, Tate 37 and his brother Tristan Tate 36, both former kickboxers and dual British US citizens with millions of followers on social media and known for their misogynistic view, are all already awaiting trial in Romania along with two women. They were charged with human trafficking and please forgive me, forming a criminal gang to exploit women. Andrew Tate was also charged with rape in the case. The luxury vehicle impounded from their home near the capital includes a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a Mercedes-Benz, McLaurin, and a more humble-looking classic red ladder. The seizure came two days after Romanian's anti-organized crime agency Decoc raided four homes in Bucharest in nearby I-4 County and detained six people, including the Tate brothers. Officers also confiscated thousands of dollars in cash, laptops, and data storage drive. One of the Tate's lawyers, Georgina Popa, told reporters outside the brothers' home Saturday that the seizures are legal but unfounded and said it has been contested. Let me tell you something. I think because they know Andrew Tate and his brothers and his brother, please forgive me on that, are famous and to put Romania in the map for people to talk about them, they keep on, I don't know, going back and forth with that Andrew Tate thing. I'm getting sick of it, to tell you the truth. And why would you have four homes in a place they don't even want you there? Like, are you that dumb and stupid? When black people have money and fame, they feel like they are very close to being white. And let me tell you something. 
at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much money, how much fame you have. As long as you have that drop of black blood in you, you're considered black. And most of those white countries really don't give two fly Fs about you. So go ahead and live your white life. Being sexist, racist, as being a black man yourself, it's not going to take you anywhere. Being in house arrest, being behind bar, you can't breathe, free air, you don't have freedom. Like, why stay there? Get the case over with, come back to British or America where you can have a normal life. But since you think you're white, you're better and above everyone else, go there and go to jail. Subscribe. Thank you for watching.